I'll be showing the newly updated and improved PowerPoint Presenter Coach. Presenter Coach uses AI to listen and now watch how you present and give you feedback. So let's get started. I'm here in PowerPoint for the web and I'll go to the slideshow tab and you'll see this Rehearse with Coach. Rehearse with Coach has already been here for a little while, Presenter Coach in PowerPoint, but there are some new enhancements that I'll be showing in addition to the original ones. If I drop the arrow down, you'll see Show Body Language Feedback. I'm gonna check this on and we'll show some of the new features in Presenter Coach. Now I'll click Rehearse with Coach. Here's the pop-up. It says, Welcome to PowerPoint Presenter Coach. You'll rehearse and then at the end, you'll get a nice little numerical summary and some suggestions. Click Start Rehearsing. Now you'll see there's video as well as the original audio. So the video part is new and PowerPoint's going to watch as I present. Some of the body language critiques. The first one could be, maybe I've gotten a little bit too close. Oh, move farther away from the screen. Hey, that's the spot. Could be I'm too far back. Whoa, I didn't realize I was so far back. Hey, move a little closer. Perfect. Another critique is maybe I'm inadvertently putting my hand in front of my face and, oh, keep the area in front of your face clear, okay? Another one is, I might be looking in a different direction. Oh, oh, face the camera, engage with your audience. Okay, those are some of those new body language critiques that have just rolled out to PowerPoint in the web. We still have the audio as well. And you can note, maybe I don't wanna have the video showing the entire time. I could say, stop seeing your camera. Now my camera is hidden. I could also say, turn off the real-time feedback. I checked that bell there and you can see now it's turned off. We'll turn on the real-time feedback for audio, but maybe I wanna leave the video part off. Let's go to the next slide. Now, some of the existing critiques I will show for those of you that are newer to this. One is PowerPoint checks the speed at which you're talking. So I'm gonna start talking really fast. We have five planets on the screen. It's Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Try speaking a bit slower. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Inclusive language is also something that PowerPoint can listen for. For example, Hey you guys, did you know that Mars is the red planet? Sensitive phrases. This might be offensive or non-inclusive in some cases. Another thing PowerPoint can do is listen to see if you're reading from the slides. When the satellite approached Jupiter, it discovered a few rings around Jupiter as well as volcanic activity on the moon. Try to avoid reading the slides. Summarize your key points. Presenter Coach can also listen for the tone of your voice. I call this the Bueller test for Ferris Bueller's teacher. This planet has rings surrounding it. What is the name of the planet with rings? Anyone? Anyone? Try varying your pitch and adding emphasis to key words. Okay. The other thing that Presenter Coach will check for, and hey, good job with my pitch variation. Keep it up. The other thing is that I can check for filler words. So PowerPoint will listen if I do, for example. And um, Uranus is a... Uh, try not to use too many fillers. Lastly, PowerPoint can listen if you're using the same word repeatedly. Here's some examples. A really awesome planet is Neptune. And it's so awesome that I'm gonna tell you why. Because of all the awesomeness of the universe, Neptune is the most awesome of all the awesome planets. So I said awesome a whole lot of times there, my favorite adjective. When we get to the final report, we'll show you what that looks like. Now when I'm done, I will hit the escape key. Here's my report, my rehearsal report. My pacing was pretty good. You can see when I sped up a lot right there, there's my little peak, my different pitch, and you can see that I had my monotone test with the Bueller pitch. Now body language right here is new. Eye contact, if I expand this, it actually took photos when I was facing away and when I was looking forwards. Clear view, when I had my hand on my head and when I didn't have my hand over my forehead. And lastly, distance. Expand that, oh, that's where I was too close and that's where I was backing up. Some other aspects, fillers, to sound more polished, don't say um as much. Repetitive language, try to use synonyms. Don't say awesome so many times. Looks like I said okay too many times as well. And sensitive phrases, instead of you guys, consider saying you instead, which is more inclusive language. So PowerPoint gives you this great report and really gives you suggestions on how to improve. Now, if you're an educator, what a great thing to do is have your students do a screenshot. I'll do window shift S Say, I'd like you to screenshot your rehearsal report like this, let go, 
and then paste it into an email so you can show that you are practicing. PowerPoint will continue to add improvements and refinements to Presenter Coach, so keep up and watch what gets added in the near future. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Now, if you want to keep up with all the latest quick tip videos that I'll keep releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get notified for all the new videos that post.